truly a privilege that we're able to do this. A human being is more than their physical body. There's also a spiritual body. There's a mind, the spirit, the emotions. What is curanderismo? Curanderismo is the art of traditional medicine that, that is a holistic approach to healing uh, body, mind, and spirit. That's why we called it holistic medicine. It comes from the word curar, which means to heal. We, we trace it, well, it was before 1500. The way, the way that we practice traditional medicine was from Spain, but then the natives here also had their own medicine, so now it's, it's come together. So we started the curanderismo movement of, of merging both medicines, and it's still happening. My mother was somewhat of a curandera or a healer. Uh, she wasn't considered a curandera, but we lived on a farm away from any major city. And there were eight of us, including my parents. And she used to tell us, all, all family members, don't you get sick, and if you do, I'll be your doctor. And I met a healer uh, by the name of Crescencio Alvarado, known as Chinchito. And that relationship uh, was lasted more than 30 years. He was my teacher. I got excited about the field. There, there wasn't a lot written on this field. And then in 1995, I was offered a job at, at the University of New Mexico. They wanted me to consider teaching the course again, and I did. And more than 20 years ago, I've been teaching this course. Limpia is a cleansing. You cleanse your energy. You know, we clean our bodies with shampoo and soap and water. We clean our car, we clean our homes, but we hardly ever clean our energy or our spirit. We are a form of energy and use, they use different elements. They use copal, which is a resin um, to do that um, smudging with smoke. Uh, they use pl plants, they use rosemary, which absorb the neg negative energy and they swept away the negative energy. They were smoothing my energy, my spirits. Uh, they used the candle, they used sound, uh, the vibrations of a conch shell. Um, they use a rattle. So they use different elements, water also, and people can use one, two, three, four, five different elements to do the smudging or the cleansing of my energy or anybody's energy. Ometeo. Ometeo is a word that's been used with healers for hundreds of years. It's a duality. It's hot and cold, wet and dry, good and bad. So it's, uh, it's a duality and um, the duality in people. Uh, so that's what uh, we, we say. We say Ometeo uh, after a ritual, after a ceremony. The students can, can, can learn uh, to reclaim a part of the of traditions of New Mexico. Uh, that have been around for years, uh, but uh, they're being lost. Their grandmothers knew about traditional medicine. They used a lot of herbs for healing. They used some rituals, but it's been lost. We're reclaiming some of the lost traditions. Of course, now we have a lot of access to medicine, modern medicine or allopathic medicine, but still people can reclaim some of this medicine because if you're not insured, you can't afford a lot of the modern medicine. Uh, that is offered now. During COVID times, a lot of this energy was disrupted. It was damaged. So a lot of people were having a lot of stress, a lot of anxiety. So Olympia was really calmed them down. Uh, they couldn't sleep. It's a good feeling when you know that you've touched somebody's lives. I've been teaching this course, a face-to-face -face course in the summer. It's a two-week intensive course. And it, it, I also offer it to the community through continuing education as well as credit for those students at the University of New Mexico. I also offered online classes during the year, in the spring, in the, in the fall. I'm here to inform people. It is a class, it's an informative class, but it does impact a lot of people's lives. You can be your own healer, you can heal yourself and your family, and you can identify major illnesses if you're really, really sick and go see a physician. Students will learn about that and they'll learn a better appreciation of Mother Earth. What does the earth offer us to heal ourselves? They're here to learn. So they'll learn something that's been forgotten. Creating healers, we're, we're informing people about a lost art that has been lost, that's been lost uh, throughout the years. Well, quiero dar las gracias a todos los estudiantes que toman esta clase. I just want to thank all the students that take this class. And I hope to see you in June. And if you can't come to the University of New Mexico campus, then we offer an online class in July.